Now, staying with inter-Korean cooperation, South Korean officials and experts returned home on Monday after an almost two-week inspection of North Korea's eastern rail line. Upon their return, the team said the two Koreas share a vision of connecting their rail networks, but it's going to take some time to devise uh, specific plans for construction. Oh Jung-hee reports. South and North Korea wrapped up their joint inspections of railways in North Korea and are well on the way to the groundbreaking ceremony scheduled next week. 28 South Korean officials and experts who had been in the North for an on-site survey of the eastern Tonghe rail line returned home on Monday. Since December 8th, they've been checking the section between the North's Kumgangsan Mountain and Tumangang River, moving by bus and train with their North Korean counterparts. On the Tongye line, our final point was a friendship bridge between North Korea and Russia. It was very touching for all 28 of us to have completed the inspections up until there. I believe a lot of us dream of coming and going between the South and North through that route we've never taken and being connected to the continent via train. We shared such determination with our North Korean counterparts. It was the first time South Koreans have surveyed the eastern Tonghe line. Moving along almost 800 kilometers of railway, the inspectors focused on the rail operation system and the structures, like tracks, bridges and tunnels, using testing devices from the south to help them. About 10 kilometers of bridges and tunnels between Kumgangsan Mountain and Anbyeon had especially deteriorated. Technicians say trains aren't running there and can run in some sections only when necessary. Up to the Jumangang River, trains can run at a speed of 30 kilometers per hour. The rail condition isn't too good and we thought it'd be impossible for speedy operation. Train cars of both South and North traveled together throughout the inspection. There were 11 carriages in total, with five from Pyongyang and six from Seoul. When moving on the train, experts gathered together to share what they had surveyed and what needs to be done. They had discussions in various fields. The South Korean team added there should be additional surveys and knowledge sharing with the North to take further steps. This completes the two Koreas' overall joint railway inspections. They took a look at the western Gyeonggi rail line two weeks ago and cross-border sections back in July. Seoul and Pyongyang will hold a groundbreaking ceremony next week at the North's Panmun station to mark the start of connecting and modernizing roads and railways between each other. Seoul is sending an advance team to the location this week. But actual construction will start later in accordance with the North's denuclearization and waivers on sanctions. Oh Jung-hee, Arirang News.